What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing Chapter 3, Problem 9 in the Fundamentals of Physics textbook, 8th edition by Jero Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 3 is all about vectors, and in Problem 9, we are given two vectors, and we are asked to add them, find the magnitude, and the direction. So, our first vector is 4 meters i hat plus 3 meters j hat and our second vector is negative 13 meters i hat plus 7 meters j hat and so to find the two vectors added we just add their components so our x component here 4 minus 13 that'll be negative 9 meters i hat plus 3 plus 7 is 10 meters j hat. That's for part A, and for part B we are asked to find the magnitude of that addition, which is going to be equal to the square root of A plus B, the x component squared, plus A plus B y component squared. And so that's going to be equal to the square root of negative 9 meters squared plus 10 meters squared. And this is equal to the square root of 81 meters squared plus 100 meters squared. And when you plug that into your calculator, it'll be about 13 meters. And then for part C, we are asked to find the angle of this vector. And so the tangent of theta is always equal to the y component over the x component. So the inverse tangent of the y component over the x component is equal to theta. And then so theta is equal to the inverse tan of 10 meters over negative 9 meters. And when you plug that into your calculator, you should get 48 degrees. And now you can write that a couple different ways. If we take a look at the unit circle, our vector is negative 9 meters in the x direction and 10 meters in the y direction. So our vector is pointed something like this. And our angle will always be from the x-axis, so in this case we can say this right here is 48 degrees, and then this angle here would be 180 minus 48, this right here will be 132 degrees. We can say 48 degrees north of west, or 48 degrees above the negative x-axis, or we could say 132 degrees north of east or 132 degrees above the positive x-axis. These would probably be the four most common ways to write this. You could also say like negative so and so degrees. That's not as common to write it that way. It's kind of like redundant and unnecessary. Mostly just personal preference the way you want to write it. So that's it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have a question about something I did or an idea for a future video, and lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.